Back to our last episode. When Stanley Kroll found out that little Oksana was about to inherit nearly $15 million trust from an elderly gentleman who was a former client and quite fond of large-breasted women, yes. And when she found out, she was shocked. Someone had to call her. They tracked her down through her email and informed her just yesterday. And I took immediate action and bought her a ticket to fly back up here to Boston. She'd already been staying here uh, almost a week. And, um, you know, I knew Stanley Kroll would catch wind of this very quickly. So I got her here at three in the morning. We did a consummation of uh, an agreement. There would be no prenuptials in this case, and I would be in full charge of managing the small fortune. Fifteen million ain't that much. I'll piss through that in about three years, maybe four. I don't know, depending on what I'm up to. So, here's what it's gonna be. We're gonna do this, see? But then we went to the justice of the peace as soon as they opened their door at 8.30 and got married. And she had a 9.30 appointment, so we rushed back here. You know, we just wore street clothes. You know, I put on a sport coat. Just, you know, I'll send you a picture of the wedding later. So at the wedding, um, she had to rush back to Florida to gather her things. Al was picking her up in the foyer and Stan called. And he saw what I had done. He was sent a photograph of me from behind on the little one. She likes to take pictures. I mean, I, don't, I never saw it. I don't know how it came out. She's... She's, you know, this girl was, I think she tried to film it, but just Nick took a snapshot instead. So, I mentioned to Stanley that we never consummated the wedding post-ceremony. And therefore, technically, she could annul it within the next few days. Stanley, aware of this fact, is going to try to get her to break her marriage vows with me and then immediately marry her himself. 